All right, everybody, welcome back. Haven't done a video in a while. I'm going to do things a little different from now on. I'm going to make it real quick and real straight to the point. Uh, I don't care if you subscribe. Not that I don't care about you, but if you don't subscribe, that's fine. I'm not doing this for money. So this video is about hooking up a Humminbird to an iPilot Link trolling motor. What you need to do that. Let's start with a, with a Humminbird. If you take your Humminbird, and we're look, talking about Helix first. If you look on the back here, if you look on that tag, It'll say, this one says, Helix 7 SI GPS G4. Not G4N, it says G4. You need to have that N for networking. So, can't do it with this one. Take this one. This one is a Helix 10 MDI GPS G4N. N for networking, which means you can connect this to an iPilot link motor. Okay, so we got the right hummingbird. Now, how do you know that it's an iPilot link motor? Well... There's one way to do it is you can look at the tag under here. If you look in, I'll show you how to do that underneath uh, inside the bracket. The other way is to look at the head of the motor. Here we have two cables coming out of the head of the motor. There's two here, right? And they run straight down and this is what you get, okay? The reason why there's two on an iPilot link motor, you have one for sonar, which can look like this small round one. This one here, sorry, this one right here. That is your US-2. Or if you have an MDI transducer, it could be bigger and plastic. So those are for the transducer. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the Ethernet connection. So this is the other cable that will be coming out of your iPilot link motor. It's round, it's a metal connector, and it's a bit smaller. The diameter is a bit smaller than a dime. Okay, so that's your Ethernet connector. That's how you hook up your iPilot link trolling motor to your networking Helix model. But if you look on the back here, uh oh, it's all plastic connections, but you got a metal connection. There's no way to connect it back here. So what you need is an ethernet adapter. So a dongle looks like that in the package. A-S-E-C-Q-D-E. -E. Out of the package, it looks like this. So it's a metal connector with a plastic connector, exactly what you're looking for. So you take the metal connector from your trolling motor Connect it. It's keyed. You cannot make a mistake. If you just take a second and don't go too fast, tighten that up. That connection's good. Now you have the plastic connection that'll go to the back of your hummingbird. And these connections are all different. They're all keyed, which means they all have a certain shape and they will only go in one spot. So make sure you get the right spot, plug it in, and that's it. Now you can control your Link, iPilot Link trolling motor from your hummingbird wherever you put the hummingbird. Thanks for watching. I'll put some, uh, some uh, codes in the description and we'll get you on the next one. Thanks.